Hey everyone, Spencer, snowboard expert with Curated.com. I've helped hundreds and hundreds of customers find the right gear for their riding. Today, we are out at Powder Mountain testing out some new 2023 models. I was lucky enough to try the GNU Anti-Gravity. So just so you guys know, we are not sponsored or affiliated with any brands or companies, so you will have a totally unbiased review. GNU claims that this is gonna be a great all-mountain directional board, and they pretty much hit that on the spot. So my first impression was it definitely carves really hard, fairly stable for sure. Tons of pop, that's why I kind of got the name, Anti-Gravity. I felt like I was floating a couple times for sure definitely really fast carves really hard yeah but it's super fun it's definitely stable charges pretty hard just a good all mountain directional board all boards work differently for different riders if you need help finding the right board for your riding be sure to hit the link in the description below and we'll take care of you felt a little bit more on the mid stiff side for me with this size i had a little bit tougher time trying to do like butters and stuff like that but riding switch it was amazing it does still have like a more traditional tail uh, that kicks up so you're all set on that great for carving for sure all mountain and then if you want to get in powder i'm sure this thing would do great in that but if you are strictly looking for a powder board i'd still maybe look for something else it does have traditional camber and it rides a lot like that so it holds a very good edge especially with that magnet traction that wavy edge that you get with this you do get a little bit more edge hold on like more hard pack icier days. For landings and stuff, it definitely was really stable because of that camber as well. It had a lot of pop and it was really stable and gave you tons of landing gear. Definitely never felt like I was gonna wash out in anything on this board. For freestyle, I would say definitely not my first choice, at least on this size. If you wanted to get into the park, you definitely could, but not my first choice for the park. And so in the trees, this board would be a dream. Uh, it was really fun. It was pretty quick edge to edge, so it was nimble in the trees. Being that this board is camber and has that magnet traction, I definitely recommend that magnet traction to a lot of people on the East Coast. Just because of those icier conditions, it definitely helps you with better edge hold. This board, I would say, is going to be for like your intermediate to expert rider looking for an all-mountain board that can kind of just handle a little bit of everything. I would not recommend this board for a true beginner just because of that camber design. It's gonna be really catchy. So yeah, you're gonna have a bad day as a beginner on this thing. You're gonna be tons of face plants and catching edges. So I'd stay off that. I would say I definitely like this board for my riding style because I like to pop a lot of side hits and stuff like that. And this board definitely sent me a little bit further on some of them than I expected. So that was nice. Definitely gives you the adrenaline that we all are looking for. If you need any help finding the right gear, make sure you click the link below and we'll take care of you guys. And then if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to watch more curated.com review videos.